Hello everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how you can get started with face recognition using the face recognition package. If you would like to find out more information about the face recognition package, you can go to the Python package index here. And this will give you information, instructions, download instructions, and examples. Before we get started writing our code, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the images that we're going to be using. We have put the images on our desktop. Here we have an older family picture. And then we have three pictures of past US presidents, two of the pictures being the same president. Okay. To get started writing our code, we imported the following packages. Face recognition, pillow using from pill import image, and matplotlib. And you don't really need to import matplotlib, we're just going to use that to do a couple extra things. After you have imported your packages, then you want to go ahead and load in your image. Using the face recognition package dot load image file. Then you want to go ahead and put in your path of where the image is with the image name and the image type extension. And we've gone ahead and assigned that to the variable image with faces. So the next thing we want to do is to get the face locations. And this will be kind of like the outlines for the faces, specifically an array of the bounding boxes of the human faces in the image. In order to get those bounding boxes, we're going to use face recognition dot face locations. And then we're going to put in our image that we created here. We've gone ahead and put those locations inside of a print so we can see what those bounding box numbers look like. Now you can also use that with the length to get the number of faces in your image. So let's take a quick look at our image once again. If we count the number of faces in the image, we can see that there are seven. Let's go ahead and run this code. So here we have the numbers for our bounding boxes, or the outlines of the face. And then using this print here, we can see that this code found seven faces. Okay, so in these square brackets, we have seven sets of numbers in round brackets. Here, and here, and so on. And those are the coordinates for the outlines of the faces, or as we mentioned earlier, specifically, the bounding boxes. But you might be wondering what each specific number is. So let's go ahead and pull up the help screen for the face locations. So you can see, using face recognition dot face locations, this returns an array of bounding boxes of human faces in an image and specifically, a list of tuples of found face locations where each number in the round brackets starts with top, then right, bottom, and left. Let's go over a couple more things regarding the coordinates for the faces of the images. Now, one thing you can do if you'd like to get a little bit more familiar with the coordinates, for example, these is to pull your image into some type of image manipulation program. For our example, we're going to use Pixelmator. So let's go ahead and pull that up. The first thing to point out is you might be used to the X and Y coordinates starting at zero down here in the bottom left. However, in these examples, and oftentimes with images, zero starts up here on the top left. And you can see the X and Y coordinate numbers here. So let's go ahead and drag our cursor. And you can see right there, we're at 0, 0, X and Y. Then as you go right, notice how X increases. And for Y to increase, you go down. Now, recall that we said that these coordinates go top, right, bottom, left. If we put our cursor here, we can see that this is top, right, bottom, left. 
So the outline or the bounding box would look something like that. So if you wanted to add the coordinates and the grid lines to your image, you could use matplotlib to do that. And here is an example of the code that you could use that would produce this picture with these X and Y coordinates. And we won't really go into detail on this code since this isn't really part of our face recognition examples. However, if you're interested in adding those grid lines, this is one way you could do it. The next thing we want to do is to extract and save the face images and only the faces. So one way that you can do that is to loop over the face locations. We use 4i, and we're going to use the i to help us enumerate the names for the face images. Then we use the top, right, bottom, and left coordinates in the face locations and wrap the face locations in enumerate. Here, we've used a print to go ahead and display those coordinates. Then we need to go ahead and create an array with our coordinates. So we use image with faces, and then in the square brackets, we put top to bottom, comma, left to right. The next thing we're going to do is to create our images of the faces using the pillow package. So we use image from pillow dot from array, and we put in our array that we just created here. Now finally, we can save those face images using faceimages.save with string interpolation. So here we have our curly brackets as placeholders. For the first placeholder, we're going to put the path for the file with the file prefix. That would be this. For the second placeholder, we're just going to append a number to each file name. Using i from our for loop, with the enumerate. And we're going to add one so it does not start at zero. Then for the third placeholder, we're going to use .png for the image extension. So one more time, let's take a look at our image. After we run our code, we should see kind of a cropped image of each of these faces, all seven. And those will be placed onto our desktop here. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's go back to our desktop and you can see here and here we have all of our face images. Okay, let's go over a couple more examples where you can identify and compare faces. For these examples, we're going to be using these three pictures here. So we have one picture of Franklin Roosevelt. Then we have a different picture of Franklin Roosevelt. And then we have a picture of Theodore Roosevelt. And what you can do is to compare the pictures. So for example, you could compare the two pictures of Franklin Roosevelt to see if it's the same person. And then you could compare a picture of Franklin Roosevelt and Theodore Roosevelt to see the result of that comparison. And of course, we know that's not the same person, so that should come back false. Now, just like before, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and pull in your images. So for the first picture of Franklin Roosevelt, we use face recognition .load image file. We put in the path, the name of the file with the extension. Then we did the same thing for the second image of Franklin Roosevelt. Then for this image, we're just going to pretend we don't know exactly who this is, even though we know this is Theodore Roosevelt. So here we loaded the two images of Franklin Roosevelt, and then here we loaded the image of Theodore Roosevelt, although in this case, we're just going to say we don't know who is in that picture. So after you've pulled in your images, you want to do some face encoding. To do that, we use the face recognition package dot face encodings. Go ahead and put in your image with a subscript of zero. And you do the same thing for the rest of the images. Okay, so we've pulled in our images. 
Then we created the encodings for our images. And now we're ready to do our comparisons. For our first comparison, we use face recognition dot compare faces. And then inside the round brackets, we put the two things you want to compare. And notice in the first one, that goes in square brackets. So we're going to compare the first image of FDR to the unknown image, which would be this image compared to this image. And if that comparison is true, we want to print out a message that says same person. If it's not true, we want to say not the same person. For the second comparison, we're going to compare this image to this image. Let's go ahead and run it. Okay. So you can see our comparisons were successful. In the first comparison, we compared a picture of FDR to an unknown picture. However, upon closer inspection, we know that the unknown picture was Theodore Roosevelt. So we got not the same person. For the second comparison, we're comparing two different pictures of the same person, both being Franklin Roosevelt. And for that one, you can see we got same person. So we're good to go. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.